it's not convenient to shop local. It's not convenient to get out of your car anymore. Only on two, it is the busiest shopping week of the year, but many stores in Broken Arrow are struggling. Before she went to Breaking News, reporter Megan Allison went to work for you, showing you why small local businesses are hurting this holiday season. It's a smaller number than what many businesses are used to seeing. The owner at Vintage Phoenix tells Two Works For You sales are down 60% compared to their first holiday season six years ago. Not a priority, I think, anymore, and I may be speaking for ourselves, but it's not a priority for people to shop and lift their neighbors up anymore. Staff here say more and more people are going online. They describe this shopping season as empty, and owners are worried about putting food on the table. My wife and I seldom even pay ourselves, and we look at it now thinking we already work 100 hours a week, and we're going to need a second job. Even stores in the Rose District say they've lost money over the last year, but tell us they plan to keep going with the support of the community. It is definitely down. Um, it's different times of the day. Usually we had quite a lot of people coming in on Monday and Tuesdays, and those are kind of slow days. The Vintage Phoenix hosts products from dozens of small business owners across green country. But with less business, vendors leave, creating less inventory, and it's harder to get people to walk through the door. With the way the economy has turned for us, you know, we haven't been able to hire anybody, so it means we haven't been able to expand or grow. Um, so it becomes stagnant and, or like a stalwart um, pattern where we just have to kind of figure it out. Both stores say they're hopeful for a last rush of business in the final days before Christmas. Reporting in Broken Arrow, Megan Allison, Two Works For You.